What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I just wanted to give you guys uh, another statue display update as well as uh, items that have sold in case you did not. See, I did update the description last video, but I also just wanted to let you guys know. But this is where my one third Bruce Lee is gonna be going. I uh, uh, went ahead and sort of copied my display on how I have it here with a smaller figure, the curio and a one third up top. Uh, with this one, I have my Ip Man, which is Bruce Lee's master right here with all my Kung Fu movies and his setup. And then above is my curio with Bruce Lee and Ip Man's backdrop. Cause it won't fit in there, it's too tall, but it does fit behind Bruce Lee. So, you know, Chinese themed backdrop. Above will be the shelf with Intro to the Dragon and the claw that comes with the Bruce Lee uh, statue. You'll see that in the video review on Monday. Above we have a mirror because uh, the scene that the one-third statue's from is the mirror scene when he has all the scratches on him. And so I went ahead and just put the mirror here and I took that part, which is normally part of the little backdrop, and attached it to the mirror there. So I think that looks really cool actually. And so Bruce Lee is 26 inches tall, so he should go to the top of that mirror and it'll look really cool having the mirror behind him. And then to the right on the door, right there, it's gonna be this poster. I'm just getting a different frame. Uh, I'm gonna use that frame for a different poster, a uh, Evil Dead 2 poster, but this is a 16 by 24 inch poster here and I do like it quite a bit, it looks awesome. So that's gonna go right there. I should have the frame tomorrow and then the statue on Monday and then this whole little martial arts corner will be complete. So very exciting uh, to have my own little martial art display. I've always wanted this because I'm a huge martial arts fan absolutely love Bruce Lee, Ip Man, and martial art movies, Donnie Yen. So very excited to finally get that. And you know, previously, as you saw in past videos, it was just Kratos and Ajor and whatnot. So that is no more. So I've already shipped off two statues and sold a bunch more. Uh, so that guy's sold. He is still available. So that is available. Uh, selling it at $350 plus shipping. Logan one third, that is sold uh, just on a payment plan. <clears throat> I've actually decided to sell Motaro as well, Cycle Motaro. Uh, this is an extremely rare statue in mint condition with box. So we're gonna sell a thousand dollars shipped. Uh, you know, as far as the UK's where I'll ship. These guys are still available, all three are available. So you can go ahead and pick those up. Uh, this is where I put Kratos uh, on that shelf he was on previously. He does fit quite well there. Uh, so I'm still able to, you know, open the door. It's a little limited in walking here. You know, for me, it's fine. And I hate having guests anyways. So Batman is sold uh, right there. So sold him as well. Uh, Superman is still available, although I may just keep him since... You know, nobody did the combo of him and Batman. I'll probably just keep the Superman just because his value's so low. I think I'd rather just keep him as a backup in case this one gets broken in. Because it's broken, you know, due to the earthquake and fall down any second. If it does, I need that as a backup. Because I wouldn't buy Resinworks again because it's too expensive. Uh, this guy is still available at $450 shipped. And this guy's on a payment plan. So he's sold and ready to leave the collection. Kratos on Throne, I did have a few people ask about him. Yes, I will sell him, but do note that his box will literally cost $200 to ship, possibly more. So his price is 450 plus shipping. So in reality, $650 is how much I'll let him go for just because that box is so big. I actually would sell this Tarzan as well for $500 shipped in the US if someone's interested. I am considering as well selling my Weta set. Uh, those two, him and the little Venetosaurus. Uh, I am considering it. So if someone wants to throw me an offer, these are rare, go for a lot. But if you wanted to buy the whole lot off me, I would definitely consider it. This is mint, the Venetosaurus is mint. These guys are not mint. He has a little chip right there. 
he had a little bit of damage that I black markered. You know, these guys are not 100% mint, but they're good enough where on display they look awesome. Sold the Spider-Man bust. Uh, that one was uh, shipped off today. And the Wonder Woman on horse, that was also sold and shipped off. So sh shipped off two statues today. And I have three on payment plans currently. So yes, I do accept payment plans if you want a statue, but you don't have all the money now, put at least 50 bucks down. And then I, I just ask you, have the entire thing paid off within three months. Uh, so, you know, if you are interested, just let me know. We could work on a payment plan. Uh, this Predator is still available. So his price is $12.50 plus shipping. Looking at the box size, it's if you're East Coast, it's going to cost at least $100 to ship. If you're West Coast, $60. But this is the exclusive in mint condition. So exclusive is that skull, which for me is a must-have. But I plan to get the Infinity Studios P2 version. Uh, and display in here, it's more of a true one fourth. Where this is a little overscaled, it's almost more one third scale. But he is available. Uh, it does have kind of a glare because of the glass front, though, just to where. But it is an awesome piece. Check out my video review if you're interested. But that one is for sale. If someone is interested in that Hulkbuster, also him for three fifty plus shipping. Just an FYI. Just because I already have Hulkbuster and I don't have him set up in a display yet. Yeah, this was the Venetosaurus I was talking about. If anyone wants this Hot Toys thing, no base, no light up, just this, I'll sell it. I used the base for that guy, an old Iron Studios version, because I like this much better. That is it though uh, for everything up for sale right now. Uh, another thing actually, uh, one last thing I, I will consider selling if someone's interested, this Hobbit set. Uh, just cause it's my only one six scale. You know, I, I prefer just one fourth in this room. I don't want one six really, just one fourth and one tenth. And then like dinosaurs are random. But if someone's interested in this set, throw me an offer. They're all mint with box. You know, and I know Weta usually maintains its value quite well. So if you are interested in those three, you know, I'll definitely consider selling the lot. I do like them quite a bit, but I'd definitely consider selling them. I would consider selling this uh, Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Just note, they're not perfect. There's damage, light up doesn't work, but they do have the original boxes and they're both extremely rare. But if someone wants to throw me an offer for those, I would consider selling them. Uh, so again, if you're interested, you can message me on Instagram, just my name, Flankster117, or email me, flanksterbysell at gmail.com. Uh, that is it. Uh, looking forward to bringing you guys the Bruce Lee video on Monday. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.